Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBR Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrlabs.org. So, in this video, we'll talk about how to simulate uh, a Arduino program in product. So, many times it is like we don't have a required hardware or the Arduino. So, and uh, still we want to learn something. So, for those students and persons and enthusiasts, you can do the same with the help of the simulation software, uh, which is Protest. So, Protest doesn't have uh, this uh, Arduino block directly available to it, but uh, there are certain ways to do that. Okay. So, further we also provide online training, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance projects based on MATLAB, machine learning, data science, Python, etc. So, if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com. Okay. So, in order to do the simulation on Protoss, first we need to download certain files. So, if you search on internet like Arduino model for Protoss, so uh, you will get a web uh, first link which is uh, which directs to the engineeringprojects.com. Uh, you can open it, and then from this website uh, you can download the uh, files. Uh, so, this particular zip file contains several models for Arduino Mega. Uh, mini, Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano. Okay, so uh, this particular models can then be used directly inside the uh, inside the Protoss. So once you download it, you need to just copy and paste them uh, inside. Uh, you need to just copy and paste them inside the library section of this Protoss installer. So when you install Protoss, you get get certain files uh, in C drive like here. Okay, so you have to uh, go back to those files and then, uh, okay, let's say lab center here and in the library section, you have to paste those files and then close it. And after that, uh, if you install uh, or if you run the Protoss, you will find all those files available so very shortly we will learn how to simulate it okay prior to the, uh, do that let's create a small program for our demonstration purpose let's create a new file okay so in this uh, let's save it first thing we need to save okay let's save on desktop okay so on the file we will make it Arduino simulation okay and the program which we are going to write is uh, we will connect a LED at the pin number 12 of Arduino Uno and then we will simulate the same on Protoss. Okay. So let's first select the board. So we will select the board Arduino Uno and let's write some program. Okay. First we need to decide the pin mode of pin number 12 as output and then uh, writing a LED program is very easy and then we go to blue because we want to run it again and again so we'll write digital write uh, pin number and hi and then we will provide some amount of delay let's say one second of delay and then we'll write digital write uh, a low to it okay and then again delay of one second Okay. Now you can compile it. Uh, one thing is there uh, in order to simulate a program uh, or a hardware on Protoss, we need a hex file to be generated. Okay. So in order to generate a hex file uh, from it, because generally when we um, uh, run a program uh, from or we compile uh, from Arduino, in normal ways it doesn't generate a hex file or it generate a hex file as a temporary file. Uh, which are av available. So, in order to generate a uh, text file, we need to press a button. So, prior to do that, we will uh, go here, Arduino simulation. So, right now, only single file is there. But now, we'll generate a hex file. Uh, just go to sketch and then click on this export compiled binary. So, we'll 
uh, it will generate the hex file and store in the same folder location so if you go into it uh, this is the hex file of your program okay and this is the hex file whose path will provide in the protus so now our program is done in Arduino and now go to protus and create a new project okay and for that uh, we will write like Arduino same uh, for the simulation and we will store the files in the same folder where our main program is uh, and the Arduino simulation folder and then next and next next finish okay so now let's search it for Arduino so we have already install all those files here you will get it Arduino Uno so let's go here it is Arduino Uno R3 here so this is the Arduino uh, uh, setup in Protus now we'll select uh, LED in order to simulate it so we'll select uh, animated LED uh, okay we'll select animated yellow color LED okay it has to be connected to pin number 12 and then uh, we need to uh, connect a ground to it so we'll select a ground okay, here it is yep that's it and now double click on the board and here go to this program file option and select it and give the path to the hex file which you have generated from Arduino ID open and then ok so that's it uh, simulation is ready to go let's save these files and let's run it so if everything goes fine you will find it working so it's on for one second then off for one second on and off Okay, so this on and off may not be exactly one second due to the simulation because we are doing in some software only. So most of the things like our uh, simulation is done. So now let's uh, do one more simulation, uh, add certain component into it or let's do a serial kind of programming here uh, in this Arduino. So in order to do a serial communication in Arduino, we just uh, need first we need to initialize the serial communication then we just need to write whatever content we want to do it okay so we'll initialize uh, the serial communication the setup by writing serial dot begin and we need to provide the baud rate for the serial communication and then after it we'll write a simple program okay so it will write uh, serial dot print ln uh, welcome to JCBRO. Okay, so uh, what will happen? Uh, because this loop is kind, it keeps on going and going. So even after every two seconds, we'll getting this particular message to be displayed at the terminal. Okay, so let's save this and go to Sketch and export the compiled binary. So now go to the simulation in the meantime the compilation will be done now we will connect a virtual instrument that is a virtual terminal because this will be only receiving the data so we can connect the RxD of this virtual terminal to the TX of Arduino okay so right now this Arduino is transmitting because we are writing on the serial port that means the Arduino is transmitting uh, data and this is a virtual terminal that will be receiving the data okay so let's save it and let's run uh, because file must have been updated yep so it's working fine okay. welcome to JCBR so after every two seconds it will display it so uh, you can also simulate uh, uh, everything like switch um, uh, various sensors into it you can do all those kind of programming uh, in the protest with the uh, with the 
help of this uh, uh, nearly a real Arduino on a board. So that becomes very handy if you are going to uh, simulate or if you are uh, or if you are doing working on a large project for which uh, con components are not directly available, but you want to do go ahead with the project. So in that case, uh, this can be very handy. Okay, so I think you understand it and you will try at your end. So if you have any doubt or any queries or any questions, then you can let us know by commenting below this video. Okay, and for finally, we also provide online training, online coaching classes, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance projects based on machine learning, Python, embed system, data science, etc. So if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org. Or you can let us know just by sending us a mail at jcbrolabs at gmail.com. So that's it for this video. Thank you.